गुड डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू कंप्यूटर शिक्षा इज सपोर्टेड बाय आई होप यू ऑल रिमेंबर वॉट वॉज टॉट टू यू इन येस्टरडे इज क्लास टूडे यू विल लर्न समथिंग न्यू बट बिफोर वी डू दैट लेट एस डू सम रिविजन अबाउट वॉट यू हैव लर्न अर्लियर वाई डू वी यूज द एरिया ऑप्शन Using the area option, you can use the fill color, transparency, and bitmap options on the objects or text on your slides, and work on the same. What changes can you make using the line option? Using the line option, you can change the design of the lines of the objects. and can also change the lines into arrows in which menu bar does the option for animated image appear and why do we use it the animated image option is a part of the insert menu we use this option to animate our pictures so that we can see them appear to be playing when we see them in a slide show we use this when we insert multiple pictures in a slide and animate them without using custom animation can you tell what happens with the text option you can use the text option to change the text of your object you can use it to change the width height spacing to border of the text and can also apply word wrap why do we use the crop picture option we use the crop picture option when we need to cut or crop a part of our drawing or picture or make it larger or smaller now all of you switch on your computers and using any of the methods taught to you open the impress file let us now begin today's class in today's class you will learn about the remaining options of the tools and slide show menu the options of the tools menu that you will learn about are extension manager xml filter setting and auto correct the options from the slide show menu that you will learn about are rehearse timing interaction slide transition and custom slide show have you all opened your file now all of you insert a few slides and you will be doing different kinds of work on each of them in the first slide type out the line being shown to you you may also change the design of the slide if you like in the next slide insert a picture of your choice then in the next slide draw an image and write a line about the same let the last slide remain blank if you need help watch the video with the help of this video we are now going to see how we can add new slides in our impress presentation and also how we can do different kinds of work in these slides so we have one slide here if you want to insert new slide take your pointer to the slide pane right click on it and then click on new slide if you want you can make this a blank layout by going to the layout area and clicking on blank slide now if you want to make some changes on the slide you can go to insert option we are trying to insert something in this a picture select the picture option from file and then select one of the pictures from your picture file which you want to insert on the slide once you have selected click on open 
and you will see that this picture gets inserted on your impress slide. Next, if we want another slide, we will go to the slide pane, right click on it and then click on the new slide. Once again, we have a blank slide. We can work on it. and make the desired changes in our presentation. So in this slide, if we want to change the slide design, we do a right click on it and then select the slide design. From the box that opens, click on load. And you have many categories here. You can select the presentation backgrounds and then select any of these templates of your choice. Click on OK and in the slide design box, the design that you have chosen appears in a preview window. If this is what you want, click on OK in the slide design box and this design gets applied to this particular slide because we had selected that this design should be applied to the selected slide only. Now similarly, if we want to change the slide design of the other slide, let's say the first slide, then we will again, we can go to format menu, click on slide design option and you get the slide design box. So this is another way to change the slide design. Click on load, then go to presentation backgrounds and select one of the designs of your choice. Click on OK. You will see the preview appearing in the slide design box. And then you can click on OK from the slide design box itself. So that design gets applied to our first slide also. So this is how in your impress slide presentation, you can add new slides and do different kinds of work and also change the slide design. Let us now see what work we can do with the use of the extension manager. With the extension manager, you can add extension files of the open office, remove them or update them. You may have seen many images in the gallery option which are also like added extensions. Let us watch this video and see how the extension manager is used. Let us now watch this video and see how we can use the option of extension manager to add extensions to our files. So we have opened our impress file and we need to add extension managers. Go to tools and first let's click on the gallery option. When you click on the gallery option, it has already got so many symbols and extensions which you can use on your slides. When you open the gallery, you can see there are different themes, computers, diagrams, environment, and so on. These have actually been created by adding such extensions that we can also and we can also add new extensions to our existing files. To do this, we will use the tools menu, click there and then click on extension manager. A box opens and you can see there are options here and there is also an option saying get more extensions online. So this will connect you through internet to an internet page where you can get more extensions. So these are you should have internet connection on your computer to be able to do this. So here you are seeing 
open office extensions they could be for impress if you want impress extensions you will click on that and you have various impress extensions you will use the one which you are looking for or which you know about or which you want to use so let's click on one of these we are clicking on the clip art gallery theme danger and chemical products so we will add an extension for symbols related to this so this page opens on internet and you can now click on download extension to download these extensions on your files so once you click on download extension in the taskbar you can see that the download has started and it is showing you what is happening as far as the downloading of this extension is concerned you can see different pages you can see the progress of the download and it is happening now so this way you can add extensions from the internet online and this symbol here shows that the download is happening once it is complete you can click on it to open this download and see the download you can see it has downloaded the extensions now you can go to the taskbar itself you can also click on show all to see all the downloads or click on this symbol here which is on the extreme left to see this current download from the taskbar let's open our existing file the file which we were working on the impress file where we had opened the box for extension manager it asks you for an okay click on okay and now you can either add the extension or you can also check for updates once we add the extension it shows you the options available you can select them click on open to add those extensions you have to do an okay here again and you can see that the extensions have got added you can see the green bar there you can remove you can disable these extensions you can also check for updates on the internet which for which the extensions you have added you can click on add again and you can add other extensions also click on open click on okay now you can see this green bar which shows that the extension is being downloaded and then you can close this open the page that we were working on from the taskbar and now you can see in the gallery option that those extensions that you had added should be shown however since they are not being shown right now because you have to restart your impress file so you close the current file just refresh your computer here and then use the shortcut command or any method that you know to open the impress file once again it is opening the impress file click on create here and your impress file will open now you can see in the gallery option if you scroll down you will see that the extensions that you had added are also shown besides the extensions which were already there the themes that were already there now if you go scroll down you see here this one is the extensions that you have added for chemical and gas products so you can use any of these symbols by right clicking on it and clicking on insert insert and then copy and the symbol appears on your slide you can resize the symbol and use it on your slide where you want to 
you can also insert from another extension another symbol for instance if you want to insert this symbol click on insert click on copy and resize it as well as move it to the place where you want it to appear on your slide let's use another slide from another extension insert copy and then resize it and place it on the slide where you want it so this is how you can use the extensions manager let us now learn about the option of auto correct can you tell what happens with the auto correct option this is an option which automatically helps you to correct any wrong spellings that you may have typed to the most related correct word if you want you can yourself define the word that you want to replace and make it a part of auto correct for future corrections let us watch the video to get more information about this let us watch this video and get to know how we are going to use the auto correct option so the auto correct option will help us to correct the typed words which are already existing in the auto correct option go to tools click on auto correct option you see a box here where you can type a word and also type a word with which you want to replace this so we are typing replace computer and then in the with column we will type the word with which we want this word computer to be replaced so whenever we type computer it will get replaced by com we click on new so that this new word is also added in our autocorrect box similarly if we want to type another word or a name which we want to be replaced when we are typing in our impress slide we can do so also so here we are going to type a name which is bharat and while we are using this on our impress slide whenever we type bharat we want it to be replaced by just bk so we have typed bk click on new and then that also gets added in our list now we can just click on okay and see note that these have got added now let's try to type in our slide so we are typing computer as soon as you type computer the word computer in this slide as is being shown and press the space button or the enter key it gets replaced by com and when we type bharat and press the space key or enter key it gets replaced by bk go back to the tools menu go to auto correct option now if you want to delete the word you can see there are many words here already so if you want to delete the change that you had made for instance bharat you don't want to keep that select that and then click on delete click on okay and now if you type the word bharat and press space key or enter key it will not get replaced by bk but it will remain as it is go to tools menu go to auto correct option and you can see there are some exceptions if you click on the exceptions tab so here if you are typing these abbreviations they will not get replaced because these have been defined as exceptions so if you are typing cs here and if it is listed as an exception it will remain as an exception if you want to add one new then we are just added new 
and then we also have an option for words with two digits capital two initial digits capitals for instance so such, such words will also be treated as exceptions then there is an option for options so here you can capitalize first letter of every sentence if you do that connect correct two initial capitals so these options are there so if you select these these will also get applied just close this box so this is how you will use the auto correct option the next option is of customize do you know what happens with the customize option using the customize option you can customize the menu bar and can also customize its options you can even make a menu using your own name here customize means that you can add or remove any option as per your need let us now watch this video and understand how we use the customize option let us watch this video and see how we use the customize option with customize option you can customize a menu according to your needs and use so to use customize we go to edit menu click there and then click on you can see that there are object and hyperlink options if we want to remove these from this menu from the edit menu we will go to the tools option click on customize option and a box opens it's already opening the toolbars tab so in this toolbar we want to see the edit menu so we click on the menus tab and click on the edit menu because we want to remove couple of options from the edit menu now here you have to scroll up and down to look for the the options that you want to delete you want to delete object select that and then click on modify in this you can see rename or delete so we just click on delete then we click on hyperlink because we want to delete this also go to modify and select delete now if you click on okay you will see that this these two options from the edit menu have been hidden or have been deleted they are not there anymore as you can see those two options for object and hyperlink have been deleted now you can also use the tools menu and the customize option to create a menu of your own with your own name so we go to customize from tools menu click on the menu tab there is also a keyboards option which has different keys and shows the functions of these keys by selecting these keys you can define the category or the function that this key should perform you have buttons for modify delete so you can change uh, according to your requirement but since we don't want this we want to look at the menus we want to create a new menu so we click on new and now in the new na menu name we type the name of the menu that we want to use this menu with so we are typing computer shiksha as the name for the menu now you see buttons here up and down so by clicking on these buttons you can decide the location of the new menu so whether you want to keep it as the first or the last or somewhere in between you can do that click on okay now you are creating this new menu so you have to add the functions or the options that you want to add click on add a box for add commands opens so you can select the category that you want for instance if you want graphics and then you can click on the commands that you want to add click on add and that gets added to your menu similarly you can select some other categories format for instance 
and we are clicking on fill color so we have added fill color also next we are adding another function decrease spacing then we are adding paragraph options so we click on add we select the command that we want we can also change the category if we want so now we've gone to insert category and from here we want the formula command select that click on add and like this you will go on clicking on the commands that you want from the categories you want click on add once you have done this you can close this box and you will see that all the functions or the options that you wanted to add in this new Mino called Computer Shiksha are there. Click on OK and you will see in the top Mino bar, you will see that a new Mino called Computer Shiksha has been added. If you click on this, you will see that the options that you had added are there for image map, which is graphics, fill color, paragraph, formulas, all the options that you had added are there. So this way, you can use the customize option to add a new Mino or modify these. Go back to tools, go back to customize, and you can select the Mino that we don't want to keep this computer Shiksha Mino. So we are selecting that and we can modify or we can delete also. So in the Mino, we just click on delete so that this Mino gets deleted. Click on OK. So this is how you can use the customize. You can see that the computer Shiksha Mino is no longer there. Do you know why the option is used? With the use of option, you can set various options for open office like language, theme, font color, windows theme, etc. as per your choice. Watch the video to know more about how this is done. Watch this video carefully to see how we can use the different options on our impress file. This is the option which is called option. So to use this to make changes on the appearances, you go to the tools menu click on the options option you can see a box here which has various available options for open office if you click on the open office there is user data so if you want to give some user data you can type in the data that you want to see along with this particular office file next is general so if you want to give some data here you can use this the next one is about the memory so you can increase or decrease the memory available to you the next one is for view so here you can change the scaling size you can look for large icons for instance you can choose for large icons you can choose high contrast here and scaling also we have changed it to slightly more or less you can choose that from the up arrow or the down arrow then in the minos you can choose what kind of icons you want to show so we have said show those icons or hide those icons depending on our requirement also there is selections are available and mouse positioning also you can change default button or dialog center you can choose what you want click on ok and you can see all the icons that are here in the various uh, toolbars are shown in high contrast and they are not very clearly visible so we go back to tools we go to options again and from this office view option we are changing it back to automatic selection. So you can see when you click on OK, the icons, they, they have now appearing as they were normally appearing. Go back to tools, click on options. 
and look for the next option which is for print. Here you can set the print settings that you want. So you can reduce the transparency automatically or you can define if it is no transparency. Reduce the gradients. So you can depend, define the gradient that you want. Reduce the bitmap. So on different graphics you can apply the changes that you want. You can look for the page size. When you click on OK, those changes will get applied. We close this right now. Go back to Tools, go to Options, and next is the colors. So if you want to define a color of your choice, if you want to change a color and you want to give it a name of your own choice, for instance, we've chosen this purple color, but we want to call it something else. We want to call it CS. Then we will select this and then click on Add so that this color will get added as CS name. You can also choose to modify it or edit this color. So when you click on edit, this color box will open in color picker and you can define what this color should look like. Click on OK and your color called CS has been added. Click on add and click on OK. It gets added and you can type in a name that you want. So we have typed CS2. So the color is now being called CS2. Click on OK. Now if you look at the line and filling toolbar and click on the colors option, you can see that these colors are available here. CS and CS2 have got added. Go to tools, go to options. Next option is for fonts. So you can apply the replacement table if you want to replace a particular font with a different kind of name or different font. You can choose to do so. Select the font that you want to replace and type the name that you or replace it with a particular font of your choice. You can choose automatic settings or various options are there. You can choose from these options here. As you practice, you will get to learn more. You can also change the size, default size that you want. So for instance, we have chosen 15. Click on OK. Now, if you go to a slide where there are there is text, select that text and let's see if we can use our font that we have created. Go to the fonts menu, click on the down button and choose the font. Look for the font that you had created. So we had called it by a different name which was Arial. So we select that and you can see that this font has got changed to the type that you wanted. Go to tools, go to options. The next option is for security. So if you want to protect some of your features or options, you can use this security. It can be like if you want to protect by a master password, you can use the master password. Click on options or master password. It will ask you to enter a password because already it is protected as a password. So we enter that password and then click on OK. Now it allows you to change the master password. So you can type in the changed password and then apply it. However, we are not going to change it. So we just close this box. In this, when you change the password, you will click on OK and that password will get applied. Similarly, you can have other security features from this option. Go to the next one, which is for appearances. How do you want your slides to look like? So we've selected open office. And if you want to change, let's say the background color, or you want to change, make some changes in the grid, you can apply those changes. So we have, we are changing here the background color. And then in the grid, we are changing the color of the grid. We have chosen red 
for the grid to be colored in red. So we click on OK and let's see if we go to our slides, go to tools, go to options again, go to appearances. After appearances, it's accessibility. So you can choose options of accessibility. Who is allowed to use these features? The other options are Java and online upgrade. Then we come to load and save options. If you click on that, you see various options available for load and save. So if you are clicking on these options for save, like edit document properties before saving, if you click on all these options, those options will get applied. You can give the time after how many minutes should these saves get applied. So after each change, it will, the document will get saved after the time that you have given. Then there is a defile, uh, uh, default file format and document type also you can choose. So there are various options that you can choose from. After you have chosen, you have to click on OK to apply. Here we are looking at the other properties, language settings. You can choose the languages that you want to use. So you can choose default English, USA, or you can choose other languages of your choice. So there are various possibilities here. Then you can look for the local settings that you want, the default. If you want, you can make changes that in the decimal placing also and the default currencies you can choose from. Then default languages for documents is here. The next option is for writing aids. So if you select some of these writing aids, there are various options available. So you can see many options here. If you select these options like check the grammar as you type. So those when you click on OK, those options will get applied. So you have buttons for new, edit also and delete. If you don't want something, you can always delete that. So this way you can make many changes and click on OK to apply those changes. The next is for Open Office Impress. There are many uh, options again here. When we look at general, it gives you options for text objects. It gives you options for new documents. It gives you options for settings. If you look at the next one, which is for view, you can change the view also. How you want to display the bullets should be visible or not visible, so on. So you can see here when you click on display, this is how the display grid is showing up. Go to tools, go to options, and within the Open Office Impress, we also have guides when moving. We'll click and click on the grid option now to see what variations you can do in grid. So we have selected, already selected snap to grid and visible grid. Now you can change the resolution, horizontal and vertical. You can increase or decrease it. Similarly, the subdivision you can define the spacing horizontal and vertical and then snap. We have chosen to snap or to the gap margins to the page margins. Then you can also choose the points reduction. The snap range also you can change. And once you have applied these changes, you will click on OK to apply all these changes. So you can see in this grid, those changes have got applied, which you have made. Let's go back once more to the tools menu. Click on options. And let's look at if we want to change this back to a different change on the, uh, on the grid, we can make those changes. So we, we are changing those snap rate range we have changed the horizontal vertical resolution 
and the spacing click on ok you can see here the points are distinctly seen at the ends of the grid go to tools go to options the next is for print so you can either choose to print in default or you can choose for grayscale so you will have shades of gray or black and white then in the print option you have if you want to see page name date time you can select those and in the page options you can define the default or fit to page those options you can make then open office base is an option then in uh, default colors we have options so if you want to modify a color or if you want to choose one of your own colors in the default you can choose those click on ok and that color will get applied so you can see in format when we go to uh, when we go to insert mino and we have clicked on the charts so the change of the color in the charts has got applied so you can choose this you can select the chart and if you want you can delete it come back to tools come to options again the next is internet which we will not be learning about right now so this is how you can use this option of option to make various changes in open office and load and save language settings in impress and so on do you know why we use the interaction option when you are viewing a slide show and want that when you click with your mouse or touchpad that the presentation should start from the first or the last slide then you can do so by using the interaction option let us watch the video and get to know more about the interaction option watch this video and see how we use the interaction option during the slide show for using the interaction option let's go to the slide where we had a title slide and we had typed some text so we are selecting that slide which is the first slide we have not typed the title so let's type a title here click where the title should be and let's give a title like cs now we want to make changes from this title so go to the slide show click on interaction now here there is an option in the box which says action at mouse click so we can change the actions that we want for instance if we want to go to the last slide when we click the mouse here we click on ok here now run the slide show by using the shortcut f5 and when you have the slide click on the title the cs title you can see a small hand image when you click there it immediately takes you to the last slide come out of the slide show by pressing the escape button let's go back and see other actions available go to slide show mino and click on interaction option now let's change the action that we want we want to edit exit the presentation click on okay run the slide show again by using f5 and when you click on the title here cs when the small hand appears it exits the presentation so all the actions that you define by interaction are happening as soon as you click on the title again go to slide show go to interaction let's change this action again let's now define let's take it go to a document so we as soon as we click here we wanted to go to a document so we click on browse to pick the document that we want so it shows on our computer in desktop what all documents are there you can look for any location so we have chosen this particular slide show which has three slides click on open click on okay now if you run the slide show 
and click on the CS title as is being shown in this video, it takes you directly to that document which is a video starts running which has three slides. So you can see this document is running now. It is having three slides. You can exit from there, come back to this and exit the slideshow. So this is how you can use the interaction option. Do you know why we use the slide transition option? When during a slide, when during a slideshow, you want your next slide to appear with some effects. Besides the effects on the text in the slide itself, then you need to use the slide transition option. Let us watch the video to see how the slide transition option is used. Let us now watch this video and see how we can apply slide transition effects when we play our slides in a slideshow. When we go from one slide to another, we can see how the slide transition effects can be added. So for this, we can use, click on the slideshow menu and click on slide transition. As soon as you click on slide transition, in the slide layout area, you can see options for the slide transition. So you can select any of these effects that you want to apply on your slide. So you can see a black color rectangle is going away from the slide. You can apply that. If you want to apply a sound, you can choose the sound also and apply that. You can see the options here in sound when you click on the drop down arrow. Go to the next slide, apply an effect here also for transition, what kind of an effect you want to see. So we see that the picture appears from the middle and goes to the entire slide. Also, if we want to apply a sound, we can apply a sound. We have selected the third slide and we have selected that it should come from the left side, from the right towards the left side. We can also apply a sound or if you want, don't want to apply a sound, you can always choose the no sound option. You can pick a sound from your location also on your computer and apply that. So now when you play this in a slideshow, all these transitions that you have applied to your slides with or without sound will be played automatically. So we are showing a slideshow here. And this slideshow is showing the effects, the transition effects also. So this is how you will use the slide transition option. Do you know what is the custom slideshow? When you have a large number of slides in your presentation and want to choose a few slides to show during a slide presentation, then you will use the custom slide option. This will then only show those slides which you have selected in the slide presentation. Let us now watch the video and see how the option for custom slide show is used. Watch this video and learn about using the custom slide show. With custom slide show, you can select the slides that you want to see in the slideshow. Let's first insert a new slide and from the layouts, let's make this a blank slide. Since there are grids here, we can remove the grid by clicking on the grid icon in the standard toolbar. And from the drawing toolbar, we select a smiley shape and drag a smiley on the slide. If you want, you can drag, you can make this third slide also a blank slide and drag another shape here. We drag this shape here on this slide. If you want to insert another new slide, right click on the slide pane, click on new slide and it's a blank slide and let's drag a star here by selecting 
from the drawing toolbar. So now we have five slides in our impress file. And if we want, we can change the order in which we want to see the slideshow or select the slides that we want to see. So when you click on slideshow or use the shortcut F5, it will show you slides one by one which are existing in the slideshow. If you want to vary this, go to slideshow, click on customize slideshow and you can click on new in this box. Give a name for the sequence that you are arranging. We are calling it CS. Now you can select the slides that you want to show in this slideshow. Keep clicking on the slides that you want to use and then click on these arrows here to get them in your selected slides. So we have selected slide 1, 5, 2, 4 and 3 in that order. 1, 5, 2, 4 and 3. Click on OK and you can see that the slideshow name CS is there. Now if you click on start, this slideshow will start and you can see the first slide comes followed by the fifth slide followed by 154, the fourth slide and so on in the order that you had arranged. So this way you can arrange the slideshow to show you the slides in a particular order that you want. You can also choose to skip some slides that you don't want to see in the slideshow by using the slideshow customization. So here we had five slides and we had chosen how we want to show the order. If you want to delete this, you can go back to slideshow, customize, select the name which you want to delete. There are two shows here, CS and 1. So if we can edit it, we can add new slides or we can change the order, we can modify it. Or if we want, we can delete this. We select one and delete that. So this way, or we, you can even make a copy like we have made a copy of CS. And then you can close this. So this is how you can use customized slideshow. We will end this class here. So all of you close your file and properly shut down your computers. In today's class, all of you learned about the remaining options of the tools and the slideshow Mino. The options of the tools Mino that you learned about were extension manager and autocorrect. The options from the slideshow Mino that you learned about were rehearse timing, interaction, slide transition and custom slideshow. Computer Shiksha is supported by Thank you.